Uh, the purpose of the recording that we're going to that we're going to do right now is uh, because just uh, walking around and driving and going out shopping, I'm seeing a raised level of anxiety, and uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so I'm sure that people's anxiety levels have uh, have started to go way up, and in fact, a lot of people are saying that they're skyrocketing. So what uh, what we do is always based on release and being able to control the level of tension in our body, we purposely practice releasing both our breasts and our muscles and of course when you can do that the tension releases also. But uh, to begin this, uh, what I want to do is one of my very favorite things because uh, we're not doing much else except release when we're meditating and what I want to do is go through a short and quite easy meditation with you, something that you can follow along to at any time or several times a day and uh, get some relief from the anxiety that we're all feeling. So uh, we're, we're just going to change uh, the, the uh, focus for this right now and I'm going to get my meditation pillow and sit down. I'm going to try and go through th uh, three different stages with you. The first one is going to be just focusing on the breath and we're only going to go for about three minutes and uh, stop at the three minute mark and then start again and the next one is going to be uh, trying to count and uh, anybody that's done a meditation workshop with me you'll know that this is relatively easy in concept but uh, quite difficult to actually do. What we're doing is uh, we're counting one full breath in and one full breath out as one and the second full breath in and out as two and so what we're trying to do is attain single focus with the breath and counting on top of the breath uh, so what that does is uh, when we do it frequently enough, it trains us to have a, a very, very a great focus on just releasing the entire body and uh, sitting in a very comfortable position. We can feel our shoulders, our, our face, our chest, our stomach. Everything releases. All our tension is gone if we do enough of it, that is. So counting is the second stage and the third stage that I want to do with you is actually uh, counting the duration of the breath and what that means is as I take a breath in I'm going to count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and just to see how long is my breath in and then again uh, on the exhale count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 etc to see how long my exhale is. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and find some soothing music to put in the background. I won't be talking very much, but uh, we will try to mark off that we're doing three different methods of meditation in three different stages. So we'll just uh, reset everything and we'll come back. And uh, so we'll here's the uh, meditation uh, part of this video. And uh, as I said before, we're going to do three separate stages. The first stage that we're going to do is simply watching the breath. And uh, that's non-interference with the breath. So for th three minutes I'm sitting down in a comfortable position on my cushion, uh, but you can sit in a chair if you wish, no problem at all. And uh, all we're going to do is observe what the breath is doing for three minutes. You can see the way that I have my hands. This is a very comfortable position. My shoulders are relaxed. My elbows and my forearms are resting on my thighs. My head's very straight, just like we do in Tai Chi or when we're doing Qi Bao. And uh, my main presence is on my back again, so chest a little bit rounded in. And uh, best that you can, we do want your breath to be down here. But if, you, if you're not breathing in the belly, it's not a problem. We're just going to spend time watching what the breath is doing. So for three minutes, and uh, I'll signal you when our three minutes is up.
Uh, three minutes of just observing the breath and uh, not trying to do any uh, exert any kind of control over the breath whatsoever. For the next three minutes, uh, we're going to try counting to ten and uh, repeatedly start over again at, at one. Uh, so when you get distracted, or if you get distracted and you end up counting to twelve or fifteen, or you get to six and you wander off thinking about something else entirely. Don't get too upset with yourself. This kind of training uh, is uh, unique and it does take a, a lot of patience, a lot of just doing it. So whenever you find your mind wandering, we just bring ourselves back to one and start all over again with the goal of counting to ten as many times uh, as we can without breaking our focus. So breaking your focus, it's expected to happen in the beginning, but you will get better at it with practice. And, of course, uh, the reason that we break focus is uh, because of mental tension. It's very difficult to remain focused for a long period of time. So, again, only three minutes, a, a fairly brief interlude. And this time what we're going to do is uh, each time we breathe in and out, that's one. Breathe in and out again, that's two. We're going to count all the way to ten and then start over again. So here we go, three minutes, counting our breath.
So we've, we've done uh, two rounds of meditation and we're about to do the third for three minutes again. Uh, this is fairly compressed work that we're doing, so don't feel that you have to count the breath or that you have to do the next stage where we're actually going to count the duration of each breath. You can just observe the breath if you like. That is usually the first stage that uh, meditators go through and that can last anywhere from a month to six months or something. The benefit of watching your breath and not trying to interfere with it is of course that we, we do relax, we get rid of tension and as a result of that our breath will drop down to where we want it to be which is down the, under the solar plexus. So the next three minutes, uh, if you wish, is going to be that uh, as I inhale I'm going to count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and get an idea of how long my inhale is and then count again on the exhale 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and see how long my exhale is. At uh, some point in your uh, meditation uh, project you're expected that uh, you can have an inhale that lasts 10 seconds or longer and an exhale that probably lasts even longer than 10 seconds. But if you're only doing two or three or four or five or something like that, again, don't worry about it. We're definitely not trying to force anything to happen while we're meditating. We're just trying to allow the body to, uh, to accept this process and to gradually get rid of tension that will result in a longer breath and better focus. So let's go this time again, and uh, your choice, you can just observe, or you can count to 10, or you can do as I'm doing, and uh, count the duration of your breath. So here we go, our final three minutes.
So that's the end of our uh, very brief uh, period of meditation. And uh, this is something that you can do once a day or two or three times a day. When I was studying with uh, Master T.T. Leong, he went through a very vivid description of how often uh, he spent in meditation. And uh, this is four or five times a day. He would, he would get up in the, in the middle of the night at uh, midnight and meditate. He'd get up very early in the morning and meditate. And uh, again around midday and then again uh, in the afternoon. So he was spending a lot of time uh, doing meditation and uh, felt very strongly that uh, this has aided in his personal growth. If you want to get a, a full description of uh, what meditation can do for you and the health benefits, as well as releasing anxiety and being able to control yourself mentally and physically much better, just do a, a quick Google search and you'll come up with all kinds of surprising uh, 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 documents and articles on what the benefits are. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this.